Hi, my name is Uli and I'm a year 12 student studying in the UK applying to medicine. Today I'm taking you along with me on a very productive day of being a sixth former on holidays. My day starts at 7.30 but I end up laying in bed, aimlessly scrolling through Instagram for the next hour or so. When I convince myself that it is time to wake up and film the vlog, I get up, pretend to make my bed by throwing a blanket over the bed solely because I'm filming this video. I then make my way to the bathroom where I spent absolute ages brushing my teeth because I'm paranoid about my teeth health after the trauma of going to the dentist all the time when I was younger. After I'm done scraping my teeth, I top that with some mouthwash. I then wash my face while having the mouthwash in my mouth, the absolute epitome of productivity. I then moisturize my dry face which is as almost as dry as my social life. I also thank the world for this wonderful time of the year called hay fever season for my puffy eyes and face. I put on a jumper and make my way downstairs to eat some well-deserved breakfast. When I get downstairs, I smile at the sight of birthday balloons left over my brother's birthday. All it takes to make a girl happy nowadays. Before I indulge myself in my eggs with bacon, I have to feed my crippling addiction to caffeine. Let's take a moment to appreciate me drinking coffee from a beer glass. I have nothing else to add here. I am slightly scared for my life considering that I'm only 16 and already addicted to coffee. I of course have my go-to, cold brew that I made the night before. Once my blood starts flowing around my body, I get out the eggs and the bacon, the basis for the breakfast I've been eating every day for the past two weeks. While I'm trying to cut open a pack of bacon, I realize that the scissors are probably in my brother's room again, so I end up using a knife instead. I somehow manage to crack two eggs without getting almost no shell into my breakfast. While the proteins in the egg white are denaturing on the stove, I'm cutting up some cucumber for my daily dose of greens. Once that is done, I upcycle some leftover salad by steaming it a little bit, again, solely for the purpose of this video. This ends up looking quite aesthetic and surprises my ability to cook, I make my way to the table with my coffee. I then treat myself to an episode of Grey's Anatomy. so much the, the medical cases that happen in each episode they like reflect the problems that the main characters are going through and it's just like it's so cool like sometimes it isn't even that obvious and it's just one of the reasons why i love Grey's anatomy so much after admiring Grey's anatomy i put the leftovers of my breakfast which someone else in my family will probably eat back and decide to check if the driving theory test registration opened oh my god wait i think the test is open Oh my god, guys, it's available in May. I can miss a day of school and I can come in and take the test and then I can just stay home. Yes. <laughs> After I have successfully booked the theory test, which I'm absolutely ecstatic about, I go to Boots with my mom to get some shampoo. When putting on my shoes, I realized that picking out socks to match my trousers was completely pointless because they're covered by trousers anyways. When I come back, I decide that I need to actually unpack the stuff I brought from school and tidy my room up a bit. But as any normal human being would do, I end up putting half of my suitcase into laundry because I don't want to fold it up. I am sorry, mom. After I'm done with the clothes, I move onto the table. I spend the next 20 minutes trying to set up the camera, but end up failing anyways. So here, enjoy the clip of my camera slowly slipping down just like my sanity in these very difficult times. While I'm unpacking the books, I come across some really nice photos that didn't fit onto my wall before. So I get carried away and spend the next 40 minutes hanging photos onto another wall. While I'm doing that, I'm enjoying Grey's Anatomy again. So 40 minutes end up turning into 2 hours, during which I only put up 8 photos. 
Soon after, my brother asks me to help him with his room. So after trying to decide between saying no and making up an excuse because I don't want to do it and being the nice sister, I choose the latter. <laughs> <laughs> We then end up laughing and dancing to my superior playlist while sticking some kind of cotton on his walls. You can now enjoy a clip of us laughing like stupid at a part of the map called the Chukchi Sea. Chukchi in Russian means people who have no idea what they're doing, so it is quite ironic because the whole cloud ceiling thing is completely improvised. <laughs> After spending some quality time with my bro, I make myself a bacon sandwich for lunch. And yet again, go watch Grey's Anatomy while eating it. After a very delicious lunch, I actually decide to do some work, even though it's already 4pm on the clock. I spend some time doing verbal reasoning UCAL practice, and then editing the video about the iPad which you would have already seen. I don't know if it's just me, but like, those of you who have ever done some kind of like reading comprehension thing, particularly if it's speed reading, like, I have this weird thing, like, it's kind of hard to explain, but like, I'm reading the text and I can't focus on what's being said. Like, I just keep thinking about my own my own stuff and I have to keep coming back to the sentence that I just read and reread it. it. Particularly if the text is something that I'm not really interested in. Like, this one is about the Blue Network, which is like a public corporation, public, cor public corporation operating as a public service broadcaster. Like, I'm not something I'm interested in, not something that I know much of. So it's really hard for me to focus because all of my thoughts literally just wander off. And it's so hard to even read the freaking text because I can't focus on what's being said. This literally doesn't make sense. The question says, which of the following statements does not support the information in the passage? So it's like... Am I just dumb? Or is it asking like which of the following statements doesn't support what's happening in the passage? So if the passage is saying that women in science are discriminated, then they're asking which of the statements is like a counter argument to the passage. But then apparently the question is not asking that at all. And apparently the question is asking which of the options is supported by the passage? Which of the statements? How the heck am I supposed to get that? It's the statements supporting the information in the passage so it's like the statement can either be an argument for the passage or for or against the passage right i will never get the ucat mate <sighs> jesus christ this is the 12th question i'm done am i doing well well no i have a 58 percent i'm just trying to learn how to do the vr questions verbal reasoning and i just spent 20 minutes doing 12 questions they were not timed so i could spend as long as i wanted to and I still got 58%. I know I'm only starting to learn this. I'm only starting to practice. But like, honestly, I'm kind of glad I started practicing four months earlier because like, I just don't like it. After working, my brain refuses to function. So after a little dance party to BGs, I end up taking a little nap during which I look suspiciously motionless. To account for my lack of movement during the day, I decided to go for a little run. I had a lot of energy from the nap, so interval sprints sounds like a good idea when I was getting ready. But after the second sprint, I regretted my decision like no other decision I've made in my life, other than when I decided that waking up at 5.30 every day for a week would be good for my mental health. After absolutely dying out there on that path, I make my way back home and do some stretching to make sure I can get out of bed the next morning. After the stretch, I spend my time downstairs with my family, talking, and then having dinner, which I, being the amazing YouTuber that I am, of course didn't film. At around 10.30pm, I make my way back up to my room, where I shower, wash my teeth, and brush my face. This is also the time I catch up with my friend with whom I didn't have much time to talk to during the day. A small 5 minute conversation turns into me spending 40 minutes reading her snaps, so at 11.15 I decide that I really should sleep. After having spent the entire day with my family, I go to sleep, happy and thankful for being able to spend time with them. On this positive note, I fall asleep without having to make up fake scenarios in my head to fall asleep like I usually do. I hope you enjoyed my day in a life on holidays. Go check out my most recent video about the iPad Pro, and I will see you soon. Bye bye.